Hey guys, Chris here. Uh, now you're probably wondering, where the heck is he? And what's up with this horrible building? Well, this is the start of a short series I'm going to be doing about my very old Minecraft worlds. Um, it's kind of nostalgic for me, good times, you know. Uh, so I'm just going to roam around, give you a tour, tell you some funny stories. Uh, so I figured I'd start with my first world. Uh, this isn't literally my first world, because before it, I generated another world, but s wasted all my time walking around wondering why it was laggy, because this was on my crappy laptop. And so I didn't get anything done, and deleted it, and made a first real try, and this is this one. And I've never actually seen it on long render distance before, so this is kind of funny. Yeah, I never actually explored around very much, but it spawned somewhere around here, and decided, you know, these little dirt huts, they're very cool. And one thing I like to point out, I didn't even know stair blocks existed, so I used slabs. Uh, I was pretty proud of one thing that I did over here. Oh, uh, well the glass is cool, but also this bedroom that you can see into, which now that I think of it, you could have animals just standing there, like, watching me sleep, like, hello. Um, yeah, and, oh yeah, one thing that's really cool. No. Nope. Oh yeah, that's right. Unstacked food. <laughs> that's great. And there was just some leather armor, random stuff all over the place. As you can see, I I never really got rich in this world. And I'll go show you why. Oh, so let's see. How far did I map? Yeah, this is pretty much everything I knew. But I was always proud to have iron armor. I only ever found one diamond in this world, and I couldn't find my way out of my mine after finding it. Alright, so where does this lead? Ah! This was my first encounter with sandstone. <laughs> I thought it was just hard sand. And that leads down to some random caving crap. Uh, but I want to show you my mine. I think it was down in the... No. What the heck is up here? Huh. Yeah, I, I think I was a fan of building these doorways. I don't even I don't I don't know why I have that. I might need to go eat some of the food, but I'd rather preserve it there cuz it's really like nostalgic, you know. You couldn't stack food. All right. So, it's definitely this way. Maybe it was this way. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna find what I'm trying to show you. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yes. Look. Cave of Doom. So this was, I guess, my first ever cave experience. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've gotten lost before and been right here. I think this is where I made it to with my first ever diamond while I was trying to escape. That wasn't there. I didn't know that was the way out, probably didn't have the torch, and got killed and never found my way back, and it was sad. Um, so, just for the hell of it, I decided to build a little mine rail here. Uh, you would have to, like, push yourself down it, because I didn't know about powered tracks. And, well, I, th I guess I figured it out later and did that. And here was a little mining base, which is, you know, more unstacked food, awesome. And I found my first diamond kind of uh, that way. Alright, more things to show you in this world. Yeah, I didn't really understand. It was a pain to make these minecart tracks because I didn't understand that they can't like go down and turn like that, so I had to keep building out and getting confused. Such a pain, really not worth it. Oh, maybe I can put it on uh, peaceful so that I don't have to eat. I'm not sure. I've never played on peaceful before. Built a couple buildings outside that I just want to show you real quick. And I think this will be like a three-part series, as I have like three worlds that I actually worked on. 
in my noob days. No mods ever. All right, so that we have this. And then outside, also have some stories about outside. So the first ever thing I built outside of my house was this wooden structure for farming. And oh, as you can see, there's ice here. That's because of the way uh, world gen, I think, got changed around. So very old worlds now have a Tega invasion. It's happening to my friend, too, because he still has his very old world. But he still plays on it, like, regularly, so he's doing all these things to combat the ice. Now, then I built this place over here. I, th I don't know what happened here. Looks like a creeper did it, though. So I didn't understand that, like, farming could work more than just one wide pieces. Like, I could have put stuff all the way over there, but I didn't. So those are my farms. Ah, uh, this was a newer thing of mine, actually. Wait, hold on. I must see what's over here. When did I do this? This looks like an actual, like, intelligent build, almost. Okay, it just goes into a mine. I was a fan of the cave mining and stuff. I didn't know what strip mining was. Still don't really like strip mining because it's boring. But exciting at the same time. Alright. So this sugarcane thing over here isn't as nostalgic. Be well, yes, I guess it is actually. Depending on when I made it. Uh, so this was a geometry project on exponential growth. Uh, I started with one sugarcane here and I chopped it down and I put two more there. And um, the equation for sugarcane farm exponential growth was 3 to the x, where, um, so y equals 3 to the x, where y is number of squares that are occupied by sugarcane, x is number of harvest cycles. So when I haven't harvested at all yet, uh, it's 3 to the 0, which is 1, just that stack, and then I would harvest it, take those two down, it would become 3 to the 1, which is 3, 1, 2, 3. That was the geometry project. We didn't actually end up needing this, but... So then... Oh, let's show the fencing. This inadequate fencing. I don't know if it was ever adequate or what, but... <laughs> yep. That's how I tried to fence in my territory. Let's see what's over this way. Did I ever do anything out here? I don't think I did. Although there was something... Oh yeah, I, I was interested in the caves out here. I think one of these might be the first place where I was ever blown up by a creeper. I don't remember though. It was like a classic creeper explosion though. I was like, oh look, it's some iron! And I was mining it and then... So here's this random castle thing I decided to build because I wanted to build something outside of my house have some glass that you can't really see out of. Look, it's a sunset. Eh. Or a sunrise, I have no idea. Better view of... So right now I'm seeing farther into the world than I have ever seen in my time here. Oh my goodness, look at all the ice. It's been coming since we started the episode, really. Yeah. Yeah, the Tega invasion. So, fun fact, this little overhang... I didn't know that you could sneak to not fall off of ledges, so um, to build that, I pillared up and then built out as far as I could, and then I decided it wasn't worth it, so I'll just leave it at that. And then I had a moat, which, ooh, I actually dug it in from the ocean, that's kind of cool. It's probably going to freeze over eventually with the Tega invasion. Although we don't seem to have world gen... I mean, I know world gen is different now, but I've never seen like a beach like this where you're... It's it's almost like a river connection here, except it's made of sand and it's sandwiched by forest. I don't know. Never even punched that down. How could I tolerate that? Oh, I see. I didn't really put effort into my tree chopping. Oh, good times. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so, um, that's about it. That's my first ever world in Minecraft. Probably isn't having the same effect on you, but...
for me it's kind of a nostalgic thing just looking at everything that like it's a glimpse into the past and oh I remember when you when I found out you could hoe things like that to get seeds I came out here and did that yeah it's just cool to like see the furnaces with the coal still in them and stuff see what I was working on never really built any improvements to my house perfectly content to have almost no belongings yes yeah, so next episode uh well you can give me feedback on this episode i'd like that and next episode is going to be me showing you the next world that i really cared about so uh till then enjoy this see ya